my my colleague Dustin Kaler and I, we, we started off our, our aerospace careers back in college competing in the predecessor to this event in Green River, Utah. And the, the hands-on experience to, to, to really apply what was learned in the classroom in a design, build, fly environment, that's hard to find for rockets. It exists for uh, student, students working on air breathing systems, air, aircraft, things like that. But it's hard to find for students interested in rocketry and space lift. So he, he and I had had the opportunity to compete in this comp competition's predecessor, and I, I firmly believe that opportunity helped me get internships and co-ops and lead into a successful career in aerospace. Yeah, it's fantastic to have students who have this kind of hands-on experience building rockets themselves, learning the different trade-offs with fins and materials and uh, fuels and sa safety and everything that they do learn by doing it themselves is, uh, you know, incalculably valuable to the industry. Sounds like there's going to be a launch. We guess we got to go. It's exciting. Let's do this. safety issue. So really we're, we're checking on safety, technical knowledge of the team, teamwork, how well the team works together, and, uh, and then determining if it's uh, flight worthy. So uh, that's mostly what the judges do. It's possible for a college to put a um, something into space? Or a yeah. 100%. It'll take a lot of time and effort, but in a few years I think that would be possible. Uh, we're a community college. Uh, we built our first rocket over the course of about four months, test launched it, totally destroyed it, uh, rebuilt it, redesigned it actually in the, on the drive back from that failed launch, uh, rebuilt it within two and a half weeks, test launched successfully, and now we've taken it here and we're going to launch it about 